Hello, welcome to Building Modern APIs with RESTful. I'm glad to see you back here. My name is Matteo Guilot, and uh, today we're going to learn on how to apply some filters to resources to look into listings. So one of the things that you may have noticed is that whenever you don't specify an ID, you get a listing of all of the a listing of all of the possible resources that are in the in that particular resource uh, all of the all of the possible items that are in that resource so what I'm gonna do is uh, for now I have pretty decent content so I'm gonna muddy my my content and I'm gonna create with devil generate a lot of content so we can you know have uh, more stuff to go on so mm, let me see here generate content and I'm gonna start by generating some bands people albums and record labels and gonna generate just 10 of them uh, I don't really care about any of this all right let's do it um, hmm. so if we now go to bands we should have the two that we had plus 10 more uh, no we don't why is that hmm. we didn't generate them uh, let's Let's do something else. Um, so we had three, and if I generate ten more, should have thirteen. That looks better. Yes. Oh, I guess that the number here uh, is divided among all of the things that you that you select. Okay. So we have thirteen bands. Let's have. Um, couple more albums and add some people in here and I'm gonna leave the record label alone um, just because so um, we have lots of bands uh, and these bands have members and uh, yep as you can see uh, this is pulling in some of the the members that already existed uh, and and we have a lot of content so uh, how do we find based on content so the first thing that you want to to learn is how to filter listings listing of bands in this case based on the content that they that they have so uh, imagine that you want to get the bands that are named as zillus in this case so that's very easy you just create a filter and you give it a value for the field name so filter on name equals Zillus. All right. So, if everything went well, yes, uh, we only get one band with the name of Zillus, and uh, this is uh, basically a shorthand because you can do things like um, give me the bands that are not named Zillus. So how would you do that? So basically you need to give you a little bit more room here and if you don't specify anything it's going to assume that uh, whatever comes after the equal is for the value but if you see how it's the exact same output but if you need to specify something else for this filter like for instance in this case we need to say that the operator is not give me the ones that are equals to Zillus but the ones that are not equal to Zillus uh, then you need to 
uh, specify this. So then it would be filter for the name filter or the filter on the field called name the operator that you want is different the different operator so instead of giving me the one that is called zealous it's going to give me all the ones that are not called zealous and uh, if we scroll down we'll see that we had 13 bands before and now we have 12 uh, let me refresh your memory by se selecting all bands scrolling down see there's thir 13 all right so that's how you can specify operators um, something that I I want to I, I want to to show you is for the albums and oh we don't have the albums content type sorry resource exposed yet um, I think that um, we should create it uh, because um, it's it's interesting because it will let you do something like filter uh, remember that we had um, we had a field called year for the the album so you could do something like filter year value equals 1994 or you could do more complex stuff like giving this and being this an array so you give two different values 1996 and then the operator in the operator you say operator you say between so this will give you all of the albums whose year is between 1994 and 1996 so as you can see this is a pretty powerful uh, query building tool so um, basically you are selecting based on fields whatever you need and it this doesn't stop here so um, you could have uh, a genre field so you could add a filter here so you could uh, have all of the the albums that were released between 94 and 96 uh, with that are classical music or whatever you need so uh, yeah this is how you apply filters based on the properties that are on the entity in this case the year on the album and the other case in the case before uh, the name on the band so this is how you uh, get information of of here uh, sorry you get filters based on the information on here and of course here you can keep uh, using all of the uh, all of the techniques that we know fields equals name I only want the names of the bands so uh, you can see what you have and I want to have the members oops and include the the members uh, and include the member resources so uh, that is going to be included these are the member resources and just to remind you how it's done you can say that the, on the members only get the last name so if I scroll down I only get the last name the members so um, I'm going to uh, make a, a small break here and I'm gonna say these links that that you're seeing here all the time you may be wondering what this is this is something that JSON API uh, recommends uh, adding or allows adding and this is so you can uh, just come here and click and go to this particular person in the people resource so uh, basically this is 
to allow the front end to navigate your API and discover your API a little bit better. So now you can understand how when you're selecting the bands, you're making a bands call. Why this is saying that there is a related link for person 65, which is called bands filter members 65. So this will give you all of the bands that have this person as the member. So just by clicking this, you will see that uh, bands 67, bands 73, 74, 75, all these bands contain this person as a member. So this is uh, why these links are actually are useful. And uh, I didn't tell you before because it didn't make sense before you knew what filters are. So, so yeah, that's how you use filters on basic properties. So uh, let's go back and imagine that you want to filter by all the members whose first name is Billy. Just like that. Um, actually, let me uh, let me check. Um, person, what's the correct first name? Okay, let's choose this one. First name Frank. All right, so uh, we get some results here. We get that four bands contain a, a member whose first name is Frank. Uh, and this can be uh, more, more useful because you can say, okay, give me all of the bands whose albums have more than twenty thousand cells. Uh, and I want the operator to be more than and you get you would get uh, now we don't have the albums resource declared but um you would get all of the bands that have albums that sold more than 20,000 copies, which is not that much, but you know, um, you get the, the idea. So you can make a pretty complex queries and select a very complex uh, criteria by doing these nested filters and you can understand how this goes on and on and on. Uh, so you could have uh, the bands member, oops, members, I know, uh, friends, and then uh, this would be people, and you could do something like uh, name equals Frank. So you could uh, be nesting and nesting uh, different relationships until you get to the field that you want to filter by and then you do value equals whatever and the operator equals whatever so uh, yeah uh, explore this have fun uh, you you see that there are lots and lots of things that that you that you can do uh, but one of the things that uh, I'm, I need to tell you is that once you get into nested filters uh, there is one extra uh, one extra concept that you that you want so right now uh, we are filtering by it and let me go to uh, the actual filter uh, we are filtering all of the bands that have a member with the first name of Frank but when doing uh, nested filters you could see this in a different way you could see this as give me all of the bands and filter the members and only give me the members 
whose name is Frank. So uh, in order to break this, um, uh, to, to make this clear to the system, uh, I added an extension to the um, JSON API and let me see, oops, no, have here in a gist, all right, it's this, this thing here, um, <coughs> that basically what tells you is how uh, you are going to get the difference between all of the bands that have a member with the first name of Frank or give me all of the bands and only give me the members whose first name is Frank. So uh, it all comes down to another property on the filter. Um, we need the value here, otherwise we would be overwriting it. Um, it's a property that is called target and in here uh, you could have oops, relationship 2, relationship 3, you could have as, as many relationships as you, as you need and in the target you specify which of all of these, so basically all of the relationship that lead to the field that you're filtering by, you say um, which target it is. If you don't specify a target, it's going to be assumed that you want to filter the bands. So uh, since I didn't specify a target before, and let me remove this because that's, this doesn't make sense now, since I didn't specify a target before, I was filtering down bands but if I, will, I want to limit the number of members and leave the bands alone, get, get all of the bands and just limit the members, I just need to set the target to members. And you will see that uh, we know that uh, there is a band called Green Day that has several, several members. And... Uh, and it will just have uh, down here. Oh, I need to include I only have one single member included, which is Frank. So um, this is everything that you need to know about filters. I don't think that you will uh, need more complicated stuff than this. This is pretty uh, complicated stuff. So uh, most of the time you will get just you will get away with just filtering by uh, a single property. But if you ever need to do nested filtering, uh, you have the option to do it based on the the band. Sorry on the top level resource or any of the relationships that lead to the property that you're filtering by. So I hope that this made sense. Um, if not, uh, just play with it. Uh, you'll see that uh, at some point it starts making sense. So thank you for watching.